Hi, I'm Jim Merritt with Quick Trainer in beautiful Wilmington, North Carolina. We are your QuickBooks and accounting experts. Uh, this video um, I'm, I'm making because I see this issue a lot as I visit various uh, new clients and um, I, I get questioned about this a lot, or I should say I receive phone calls and emails about this a lot. Um, and it has to do with reconciling your bank account. Um, what happens when you go to reconcile and your beginning balance right here um, doesn't match um, the beginning balance of your bank statement? So a couple things to understand. Number one is, is this beginning balance will always be the prior month's ending balance. So whatever the prior month's ending balance was establishes what this beginning balance is. I mean, if you just look at your bank statements um, for two months in a row, you'll see this to be true. Um, but if this number right here does not match uh, your beginning balance of your bank statement, you really can't go forward properly um, without fixing that. So, how do I find out what's causing that? It's very simple. If you go to Locate Discrepancies, there is a discrepancy report, and that report will tell you exactly what changed from the last time you reconciled. Um, and so if we see here, and this is the simplest um, fix for a beginning balance not matching, it, but we can see here that um, on 727, um, a transaction was changed by nine cents, and um, it was a transaction originally entered on 614. And I can actually just double click on this, and I can put it back to the amount it's supposed to be. Now I know what the amount was supposed to be because I'm the one who caused it to change. And if I save and close that now, you're going to see that that report is now clean. And if we go back to our reconciliation, and you can't visually see this, but then I know now that this balance right here matches um, the beginning balance of the statement I'm looking at. Okay, does that make sense? Now, so again, locate discrepancies, discrepancy report, you'll find what's causing the issue on this report here. Okay. Now, what happens, and I see this mm, too frequently, but what happens if I do this? If I delete a transaction that was previously reconciled? So let me show you what we're looking at first. I've got the, this um, register sorted by cleared status. Okay, so the first thing you'll see here are at the top these check marks. Those indicate that that transaction has been reconciled. Okay, the asterisks indicate that a reconciliation for those transactions uh, are in progress. And let me just show you what's causing. See these check marks right here? That's what's causing those asterisks. But I haven't actually said reconcile now. Once I click reconcile now, um, then those transactions will turn into check marks. Now watch this. I'll do it. Okay. So now all of these transactions have been reconciled. But what were to happen if I were to, now remember, I want you to remember this visually. The beginning balance is 43, 203, 13. Okay, that's the balance. And when I look at the discrepancy report, there's nothing on there indicating that there's any problem. So what happens now if I delete a transaction going back to June 14th. Um, OK. 
Okay. And now if I click reconcile, you'll see that my beginning balance is now 4347102. In other words, this balance is off by the amount of that transaction I just deleted. And if I go to locate discrepancies in the discrepancy report, I can see right there I'm off by 267.89. Now unfortunately, I can't double click on that transaction and fix it because it's been deleted. Okay? Now, a lot of people think that we'll just put that transaction back in and come over here. In fact, let's let's do that. Um, let's put it back in. Locate discrepancies. Description. Okay. I, I had to do this to, so I could remember the amount. All right. I'm going to put it back in. It was originally entered um, as a debit on 614. And it was Duke Progress Energy. And it was 267.89. And I'm not going to put it there. I'll put it here. Okay. So now I've got a transaction back in there for 267.89. And if I go to the register, I can see it. Okay. So you would think that I could just come back in here and put a check mark there and record that and it would resolve the issue, right? Well, you would be wrong. And here's why. First of all, I want to remove the, the check mark from there. When you actually go through the reconciliation process, when you go through the reconciliation process, meaning that you go to reconcile and you enter your ending balance and you click, you know, continue and you start checking transactions off. When you, um, as you click these off, um, there is a, uh, within the database, there is a flag that says something like true fault. It's a true false type um, data field. And when you go through the reconciliation process and reconcile transactions, that flag is set to true, meaning that it was indeed reconciled. However, when I come in here and I just manually put in a check mark, it does not change the flag in the database. So how do you fix this? Well, you um, you need to undo the reconciliations. And you know, if we look at you know, we've already reconciled July, and um, this transaction was back in June. Okay, so we need to re we need to unreconcile June and July, and then re-reconcile it. Okay, not a big deal, right? Um, especially in my scenario, there's not that many transactions in there. Uh, however, um, it, what if somebody had deleted a transaction from 2014? Yeah, if you ever want to fix this properly, you need to undo all the reconciliations. Now, I'm not suggesting that you have to go back and re-reconcile each individual month in that scenario. What you could do is reconcile 1231.14 and then, re and then reconcile 1231.15 and then, because uh, we're in 2016 as I'm making this video, then you would re-reconcile, uh, say through, um, we had reconciled through July. You could re-reconcile through July, okay, after you put that transaction in. So we're talking about three reconciliations as opposed to, you know, two and a half years worth. Um, we reconcile 1231.14. And why 1231.14? Because that's a calendar year in, and most businesses, maybe yours does it, but most businesses do operate on a calendar year. Um, so you would re reconcile the end of 2014, the end of 2015, and then bring it up current again through the, the last month that you would reconcile. 
hope that makes sense. So how do we fix this? Um, I'm going to click undo the reconciliation. Okay. Now my transaction is still on there because I'm only undone one month. So undo another month. Okay. Now, if I click on that report, when it refreshes it, you don't see anything on there now. And now I can go back and begin my, my reconciliations again. And if memory serves me, I think it was 630, perhaps. And uh, the and again, I've got, I've actually got numbers written down. I don't actually have statements because this is a fictitious bank account. Um, yeah, so I could do 24, 732.02, and hide transactions, and go ahead and click those off. There we go. Oh, I need to put that back to the right amount. I entered it in wrong. Okay. Um, I reconcile now. Okay. So now when I come back to reconcile again, my beginning balance um, is correct. And if I look at the discrepancy report, I have nothing on there. All right. So there you go. Hope that helps. I know this one's a little bit, um, a little more uh, involved than my typical videos, but uh, it needed to be recorded so other people could start to understand. All right, guys, make it a great day.